When Marnie Was There is Ghibli's 21st animated film and the last film directed by Hiramasa Yanabayashi, before moving on to Studio Ponic. The film is adapted from the children's novel of the same name, by British author, Joan G. Robinson. The film's content revolves around the beautiful friendship between Anne and Marnie. Like many other works of Ghibli, when animation is not only for children, the film contains many profound messages and makes adults think. Once very successful with the animation Arietti, Hiramasa once again affirms his talent through vivid frames and humanistic messages hidden in when Marnie was there. Let's explore the movie with us now. Unlike other Studio Ghibli films, where the protagonist can take a breather in confidence and then learn to overcome it, Anna is a nuanced and engaging character. Anna is a little girl orphaned at a young age. After the pain of losing a loved one, she was fortunate to be adopted by a family, thinking that life would begin to turn a new page, a happy fantasy was outlined. But then Anna found out that her parents adopted her just for social assistance. Born weak and suffering from asthma, along with an unnecessary misunderstanding, Anna immersed herself in pain, turning herself from an innocent, lively child to a shy child, self-deprecating, grumpy. Many times she hurt her adoptive mother by indifference and always called her mother by aunt. A life without friends, with no one to share, caused her to embrace the pain and think that the unhappiness she had experienced was her own fault. <laughs> Right from the beginning of the film, the audience witnessed the line I hate myself so much from Anna. What she hates here is the negativity she is burying herself in. Inwardly Anna always appeared conflicted between selfish desire for love and calmness to present herself as a normal person. Those opposing thoughts made her condition even worse. Anna just wished she was never born. She hates her biological parents and grandmother, blaming them for leaving her behind. Her adoptive mother sent her back to the seaside town of Kisakabetsu to live with her two cousins Setsu and Kaya Mesa Oiwa in the peaceful countryside, hoping it would help relieve her asthma. It was in this land that Anna met a friend, and a part of Anna's past was gradually revealed. Arriving at her new place not long ago, Anna accidentally discovered an old mansion, but it evoked a strange sense of familiarity. With a curious nature, she decided to wade through the swamp to find the place. It was in that mansion that a little girl named Marnie lived. And from there, a beautiful friendship began to blossom. Marnie used to sail to meet Anna at high tide. The two share their lives together. And it seems that both of them have in common that they are abandoned and lack love from their parents. Although Marnie is a lady who lives in luxury, her parents always have their own lives and leave Marnie in the care of servants. Everything seemed to be going well, but Marnie was bullied by them and locked in an abandoned warehouse. This hurt Marnie deeply. Then, 
Anna is like a lifeguard to help Marnie not drown in despair. Anna stayed by Marnie's side, helping Marnie feel the love to the fullest when her family was not around. As for Anna, Marnie is like an angel who came to heal her wounds, help Anna understand the meaning of life, and help Anna realize she still has someone to rely on. Meetings, chatting or hanging out together have made the friendship between Marnie and Anna closer than ever. That love is the compensation for the needy souls of two children. It was Marnie's optimistic and loving thinking that neutralized Anna's pessimism at that time. Anna and Marnie grow closer together. Thought that friendship would last forever, but Anna suddenly realized, Marnie is just a character she imagined. And gradually Anna stopped coming to see Marnie every afternoon. Marnie does exist, those memories also exist, but the memories in Marnie's diary don't have Anna. Anna thought she met a ghost of Marnie from the past until she put together the pieces from Marnie's past and her own. Marnie's past is revealed by an old friend of Marnie's, Mrs. Hisako, while Anna's past is brought by her adoptive mother. When Anna realized that the picture that had been with her since she was a child followed her to her adoptive parents' house was a picture of the Marsh house. And, the story behind the picture was of Marnie, she knew she was the one is Marnie's niece in Hisako's account. The Marnie that she met is a living memory, a part of her soul left with that dear mansion, which contains a whole sky of her beautiful and happy childhood. And Anna, how did she meet Marnie? It is also possible because she is her granddaughter, but it is also possible that Marnie has entrusted a part of her soul and love to her, so that the past and future Marnie souls can meet. End of the story of Anna and Marnie, that is the future. A new, bright future for Anna and a future dream come true for Marnie. Mrs. Marnie has entrusted her dream of having such a happy life for herself and her little niece. And fortunately those two dreams are not two parallel lines, they have met like the past and future souls of Marnie. Both Anna and Marnie carry their own pain, which is a haunting, tormenting memory when they were teenagers. The journey to find each other in the swamp villa healed the wounds of the girls' hearts, from here, Director Hiramasa Yanabayashi has incorporated many meaningful messages. The hands of Director Yanabayashi Hiramasa have recreated a beautiful friendship, and at the same time brought the audience back to the domain of childhood memories and listened to the children's stories. Hiramasa Yanabayashi wants to remind viewers that, learn to face your inner fears, Practice the habit of loving and giving, cherishing friendships, and most importantly, family love. After all, if we fall, family is the only place for us to get up. Family is the place where we love us unconditionally. The healing journey of two like-minded souls is not only meaningful to Marnie and Anna, but also to the audience. Growing up is a difficult, even painful process, but the only way people have is to face it. Not only delving into the character's psychology, Ghibli is also impressed by the enchanting hand-drawn strokes. The green grass next to the beach or the mysterious house, the towering tower is what the audience wants to admire. Ghibli's storytelling has always been unique, and when Marnie was there is no exception. Director Hiramasa made the audience shudder with the dreams, the boundary between reality and imagination in Anna. The artworks from Ghibli are always precious footage associated with childhood for generations, 
They teach children how to grow up. It doesn't matter how many wounds in life, what makes people valuable is how they deal with it. Thank you for watching today's video. If you find this video good, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support Ask Pop Entertainment to make more exciting videos.